layer of snow in the Sierra and more on the way. Mount Rose Ski Tahoe just opened this morning. Yeah, the lift started moving at about 9 o'clock or so. And joining us to talk about that good news is the uh, marketing director up there at Mount Rose, Mike Pierce. Good morning. Thank you so much. How happy are you guys? Good morning. It's a great morning. We couldn't be happier. So, you know, winter just turned on its, uh, turned the switch. So we mm -hmm. went from nice fall weather to 15 degrees and lots of snow. Okay, whoa, you're not outside because that's the wrong hat, Mike. I mean, <laughs> you, 15 degrees? It's 15 <laughs> degrees outside. That that lets us make snow to maximum capacity right now, too. Oh, so that's you're making cool. a lot, plus yeah. you've got a lot. And you and got more on the way. Yeah, a couple of feet. Yeah, um, all that rain you guys are going to get should equate to uh, multiple feet in Tahoe. So uh, we're looking really good. This is good timing as we push closer to the holidays. And uh, yeah, uh, lots of resorts are opening this weekend. We open this week, or we open today. And uh, had a huge crowd of people there for first chair, and they're enjoying their first tracks of the year. I was going to ask if, if the early response has been pretty positive. You say people are already getting up there, huh? Oh yeah, if you uh, if you go to skiros.com, you can watch them get off the chair. There's uh, there's quite a good crowd today. Oh, oh we right. just put the live shot up. We oh, can it's see it. Skiing. How are you uh, looking wind wise? I'm always concerned sure. about clear days and wind. Uh, we have nothing at the moment. Um, good. Typically, you know, the winds are going to crease as the as that front comes in. So I'm sure uh, later on set on Sunday, um, that's that's kind of typical. Anytime a storm comes in, uh, winds will increase a little bit. But uh, we'll take that if it brings lots of snow. That's true, and, yeah. and not that I do the off-roading off type stuff uh -huh. into the trees. I like the runs. Do you do a lot of, is there tree ski in there? Do you have some fresh powder areas that you're looking forward to? Right now, it's still early season. Yeah. Pretty much we tell everybody to stay on the groom trails. Uh, next week, that could all change. So um, if, it, if it comes true like they uh, mm -hmm. are forecasting and we get multiple feet, uh, that should open an, an awful lot of what we call off-piece terrain good tree skiing and we still have a pretty good blanket left over from that four feet of snow we got in October. Oh, yeah. um, we just needed oh. a little bit more to get us going at the lower elevation. Oh, okay. that, I'm glad that stayed. All right. So yeah. while, while you and Daria are talking, you know, all the technical this yeah. and that about yes. the slope, yes. I'm the kind of guy who just <laughs> likes to sip on some hot cocoa and wait for the family to come back down. Okay, tell them about the lodge. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what do, you, what do, you, do you have any tubing? <laughs> We don't, but Lake Tahoe does. So yeah. you still have those options in the area. Um, in the lodge, of course. The neat thing this year is uh, the COVID restrictions are way lifted from what they were. So now oh. it's pretty much if you're indoors, you need to wear a mask. But all the other, uh, um, some of the tight things we had last year, those are all lifted. Mm -hmm. Again, skiing is one of the safest recreational experiences you can have, especially those that still might be a little nervous about it. See, you're outdoors, worry. you're in the environment. It's yeah. beautiful. It's a, it's a great place to come you up see, and James? just enjoy nature. As long Listen as I can stay him. warm don't, and dry and worry. sip on something. Mike, what are, you, what are you into? Do you like skiing or snowboarding? I do both. You do uh, both? Well, I will probably put on my board first. Uh -huh. All the skiers are going boo. But uh, <laughs> then I'll, I'll put on my skis a little bit later, I'm sure. Okay, no so doubt. what do you think if James were to get out, uh -huh. should he ski or board? And I want you to know, it's a smaller fall for me because I'm very short. He's very tall. So I was kind of... What's the easiest thing for me to learn? <laughs> Put it that way. You're going to get better faster on a snowboard, okay. but you'll fall less learning to ski. How's that? Mm. Interesting. Good. I like that. Got you hear him? Okay. You hear him? So it's all, it's all your choice. <laughs> and then one quick what? question for you before we go. Uh, you, so you, you open today. Does that, does that give you optimism? Is this late for you to open? Is this kind of on par? Are you pretty optimistic that this is going to be a good ski season for you guys? Uh, as we say, it always snows in winter. Um, <laughs> Twenty-five percent of the time, we open after Thanksgiving. So the norm is for us to be open before Thanksgiving. Uh, oh, this wow. isn't this isn't necessarily abnormal. Mm -hmm. um, it's just uh, everybody assumes you're going to get open early November. Uh, just we had that un unseasonably nice fall, yeah. and I'm pretty sure everybody enjoyed it. So now, <laughs> boom, we hit winter. Let's uh, let's start let's start skiing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm so excited to uh, join you in Tahoe. I'm going to come in a couple of weeks. We'll see you later, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Okay. Bye. <laughs> you bet. We'll be right back.